What's up guys? So, uh, here we go, the behind the scenes of, uh, Massive, Sage Art Massive for Sing on Barrage. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and import, um, the file I need. Um, so, uh, I had tons of outtakes. I might, um, make a video compilation of the outtakes it took. Because I had to learn a Japanese line because I was trying to do it in Japanese. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and take um, our main clip and drag it into the new composition button. Uh, wait for it to load up. Here we go, here we go. Alright, and we'll go ahead and put it uh, the size to uh, fit. Alright, All right, so there's a frame. And then, okay, so... For now, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need two layers. For now. Okay. So, there's me doing, um, the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Or, actually, I need to get for the clone on, um, the left side. Um, so, whenever I, um, act the clones, alright, here we go. It was around here. Whenever I like do the hand sign is when I should appear. So right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to that um exact moment and put it over the um, the main clip. And um we are gonna find the point where I want it to appear. So I do the Shadow Clone Jutsu um it's like Kage Basino Jutsu the Japanese for Shadow Clone Jutsu. Let me go ahead and audio preview it. So I, as soon as I say it, I want it to appear. Okay, so around here. Let's go ahead and preview it around here to see how it um sounds. Alright, right around um here. Um, alright, and then we'll go ahead and make him appear, um, at this frame, and we'll go ahead and, uh, mask out this section. I think that's how you do it. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I am right. Alright, now I just have to, um, move it over a bit. Um, that looks good. And there's a bit of a lighting change, so we need to add um, just a little bit of a feather. Okay. And go ahead and get it off my arm. That'll be a rough transition. Uh, yeah, I'd say... Ooh, that's a big light, big light change. Um, let's go ahead and uh, bump the feathering up. See how that looks? Perfect, perfect. That just looks like a mere little shadow. Alright, it actually looks like the shadow for um, my clone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the time, uh, how it's timed, and see um, if I start like rotating the ball at the right position. And I'm probably gonna have to do a mass pass since my hand is gonna like fade in, and then I'm probably gonna have to um, uh, mass the. Wait. Did I not, um, oh, uh, that was when I, hmm, good thing I caught that. That was when I disappeared, so we're going to go forward until I appeared. Uh, mistake on my part for that, um, sorry. Uh, whenever I appeared, I did, like, the same hand sign, so, you know. All right. When I appear... That's when I was rotating for the uh, Rasengan. Um, okay, that's around the point. Just go a little um, frames ahead. And let's see. Alright, perfect. Now let's get the um, point uh, where I want the uh, this layer to um, start. So it wasn't around here. Alright, go back up, go back up a few frames. Right, let me go ahead and preview this just to make sure. Alright, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Alright. And I'll just place a little yeah. Alright. Now um let's
let's go ahead and do the time to make sure I'm doing the rotation thing um, whenever I put my hand out. Um, so each one should be timed out. Okay, all right, that looks about right. Um, yeah, and then um, I think I want to speed uh, this up just a bit. So whoops. Um, sorry about that. Um, you're going to uh, time, time stretch, and to speed it up, um, we're going to say by 70%, it doesn't need to be by much, and uh, turn off the volume, the audio, that's why I did my um, freeze punch, and it sounded like it was, actually, I supposed to have the audio, but, hmm. oh well. Okay, so that gives you a nice little singing, you know, a singing. I'm a fan of Naruto, so it's natural. Um, that was I. I want um it to be, um, but okay. Time looks pretty good. Okay, so now <clears throat> we're gonna need to work on the math path. All right, so we'll go to uh, click him to go to the math path and mass. Uh, turn the stopwatch on and go frame by frame to see you know. Oops. Actually, I don't want to do it that way. We need like um, the actual pinpoints um, corrected to be right. And I can put that over that still. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now we're gonna need to adjust it. It's been pretty good. All right. So this might take a while, but it's gonna be well worth my time. All right. Um. All right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Fix some of this. Up. Okay, and let me see how that. Oh yeah, that um looks like they're um together. It's good. Uh, pretty good there. Um, might want to adjust it out a little more on that frame, and then uh, go in on here. Hold up. Hmm going to be uh, quite difficult. I think I'm gonna, I need to add some more. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm actually going to zoom in. And I know my hand disappears. We can fix that. Okay, and it's one little frame. We'll put it out to there on that. Actually, to there. All right. Okay. So you look closely let's see let's see how that looks um kind of looks like the hands are connecting um but that's okay because it's one frame all right Okay, I'm just gonna stay quiet for now. Send um uh, fix uh, keyframe these motions. So yeah. All right. So far, so good. 
you know. Okay, we're almost done with this clone for the uh, keyframing. Okay. I went um, one frame forward. When you play this in real time, it's going to look um, pretty good. Just adjust some planes here there. Don't need that. Okay. Uh, we need to move that one down. We're almost done here. Okay, looks like oh, what? Nope, not yet. Okay, that looks like um, the end of that. Okay. And then, um, doing the hand signs, I believe, at this point. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, now should be it. Go ahead and adjust this. And then at the point where you go out, we'll have smoke and then it disappears. Okay, now. I'm going to take a look at what this looks like so far, just real quick. Um, so, and I'll add the smoke and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and click off that. Um, so, so that looks very good. That shot looks like a, a real shadow clone. Um, it can, um, kind of looks.
looks like uh, one hand is behind the other. That's what you want. And then, um, all right, all right, all right. My uh, arm for that guy has disappeared for like two frames, but not really a problem. Because it will just look like it's really blurry for a second, a millisecond, actually. Um, all right. Now we're going to add the, um, the smoke. So first frame for clone. Actually, we're going to go um, a few frames before. We want it to like puff up and then puff back and then the, the clone is there. All right, so I have tons of effect files on my computer. Let's find a smoke. Um, a smoke. A smoke effect. Uh, I believe, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold up, I have it in a, a folder, I believe. I do. Let me find it, because I know I have it in here somewhere. Should be around. Haha, <laughs> dust explosion. Uh, it's not supposed to be dust, actually. That'll be good, but uh, yeah, it's more like more like that. Um, so I'm gonna go with this. It's importing and bingo. All right, <clears throat> add it to that frame. Size it. Um, for the size of the clip. And um, so be. Right. All right. So let's see. Okay. So clearly, actually, we need to make that way bigger because that's the biggest. Uh, just a little bigger, actually, not too much, actually. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, and move it forward. Size the back end. Or fit or whatever, and play it. So it's like Shadow Clone Jutsu smoke. Okay, let's get the smoke a little bigger. So zoom out and scale it up. It should be that. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now move it to the side, just a bit. Um, if we play it, it's like Shadow Clone Jutsu. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up. So, you know. Um, we're go we're go uh, let's see, time, time stretch. Let's try 50. Because it doesn't really need to be long. Okay, so Shadow Clone Jutsu. Smoke. And clone appears. Nice, 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 nice. And then it blows away. Okay, yeah, that's great. That's great. All right, now we're gonna work on um, the left side Rasengan. So I've got a bunch of Rasengan files. One I created, one other people created. Uh, let's see um, what Rasengans we have and what would be good for a massive Rasengan. Um, that's the one I created. It's not the best. Um, uh, this one. Kinda looks fake, um, but actually, if it's floating above your hand, I think yeah, that'll look good. Um, so let's go ahead and go. I'm gonna turn the smoke off for now, so I can see everything uh, better. So, all right, I need whenever when we need need the um the Rasengan to appear. Whenever we need to start tracking it. I would say 
around here, it's going to start to form into the Rasengan. All right, so we're going to track it from this point. Or actually, we need the bottom click selected. And we'll go into the tracker uh, sidebar and track the motion. All right. I'm going to want to track my hand. Go over. Um, let it load out. All right. So... I should put a dot, a tracking dot on my hand, but um, we'll, we'll see the uh, best tracking point for it. Um, now I could motion uh, or um, keyframe it, but um, I don't know if that would look um, good or not. So motion tracking, if you got a good tracking point, it usually looks pretty stable. Now it might take a while to track. The whole thing out so all right i'm going don't stop it but um put it into 50 percent actually and still view it to make sure it tracks now um if you want to see what you look like right now i pr it's probably not focused on it but um, so we gotta make sure it looks like it's tracking pretty good. Um, and then we're gonna need it to track good, um, for, um, you know, oh, loses the track when it goes behind my hands. That's gonna actually be pretty hard to do when it goes behind my hands, but we will actually use this for the starting point okay so actually i have an idea when it goes behind my hands is when it gets massive oh did i just do that did i really just do that oh wow i wasn't paying attention oh wow okay um i forgot to add a null object just stupid uh wow, 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 wow. all right here all right all right all right I'm good all right, uh we're good um no then you gotta edit to to the null magical null apply bam that's what you're supposed to do all right now go ahead um whenever uh we need the point to where um we need to uh, do the resang on, and we'll go ahead and add the resang on in there for the first part. Right. So whenever it starts tracking, all right, right, right at that frame. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because it's a big distraction, and we're gonna put in the resang on effect in here. So right there. And um, I'm going to um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, blending mode, put it on screen to remove the black. Um, all right, that's good. That actually looks kind of cool. Oh, all right, anyway, size it down to just my hand. At least a good size of my hand, anyway. Um. For now, uh, it's supposed to be real small at the start. And it's supposed to be floating slightly above my hand. And it needs to be behind uh, the clone, so it will be behind this. So, and if we parent it to the null, we get this. Should look pretty good. Now I'm going to fast forward a few frames. Um, we got a resang on starting to appear. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is add the uh, smoke puff for when the clone is disappearing. But I will add that. It seems to be, you know, a bit off. 
So if I position it here, I mean, it's not supposed to be like directly on the hand. Um, but hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, I'm going to add um, 3D to this layer. And uh, I'm going to adjust it to make it look um, more like I'm holding it. Uh, actually, it needs to be the other way. More that way. Uh, just a little adjusting. To make it look more realistic. Just a little adjusting, not much. Uh, okay, but anyway, uh, when when this starts, how do, how does um it look? I'm going to actually uh, zoom out about there. So now, when the thing on starts, it looks off, very off. Um. I will fix this. Trust me. And it comes in a little too early, actually. We need it to be a, um, a few more frames. All right, it's good. Pretty good position for there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to keyframe it the rest of the way. <laughs> Uh, and for now, actually, it needs to be a little bigger. So, if it's the hand. And then we need a, uh, a little, um, fade in. Uh, so, T for opacity. For beginning frame, we'll, um, have it zero. And then a few frames later, turn it up to 100. It's easy. Easy stuff, baby stuff you can do in your sleep. Okay, and um, we have here, it's fading onto my hand. All right, good. How long has this been going? I think this might be the longest behind the scenes ever because 30 minutes already and I haven't even added many effects. This is gonna be a very long behind the scenes. So it could take a while to upload. But let's do it. All right. Anyway. Okay, let's, the moment it starts, it stops tracking. It's going to be right there, right? I am going to add, whoops. <clears throat> Hold up. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, go back to the frame where we lose the tracking. To be right here. And we'll go ahead and um, add position uh, for motion or keyframing for position. And it needs to be. Um, like that um, then we get it going behind my back which I will have to keyframe like my hands and my back maybe um, to get that right and then I'll work on the scaling later um, but for now uh, we're just gonna work on the position of this
so have it behind the hands. Going over here. All right. It's gonna be very hard to mask out um my hand, so it's you know behind the hand. Um, I probably should have did like that, but oh well. It'll be cooler anyway. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and scale out um, that a bit. Yeah, that's the bottom, so oops. go ahead and put it like right here where it would be. Actually, more, it needs to be out a little more. Hold up. Okay, sorry about that. So where it is barely showing and actually it's going to be behind my hand so it really didn't need to be showing at all but we can fix that and i i guess i should add some motion blur to the we're saying on anyway or um to make it look more realistic since my hands get very blurry at times so when I'm basically finished, led uh, motion blur to the Sangon. So don't mind me not to um, to do the motion blur for the Sangon. I'll, I'll remember. Okay, and then massive the Sangon brush. Okay, guys, here's your assignment. If you have not seen Naruto, it's like the best show of all time. If you have not, please do me a favor. Uh, look up NarutoGid.com. It's a website where you can watch all Naruto episodes and watch a few episodes. Um, watch the first episode, the first few episodes. You will like it instantly. I guarantee you. Naruto is awesome. Okay, that was the Naruto sponsor by Max. Okay, uh, commercials are all over. Uh, back to editing anyway. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot bigger, so don't worry about the size for now. That's like a mini wrestling on Barrage. Just um, a few more um, frames. Until uh, it kind of... We need like a like a blast back, like a, a little blast, like a short little blue blast with a Rasengan. And that'll be another finishing touch, I guess. Uh, this behind the scenes is going to be like two hours long. So, um, I've never uploaded a two hour video to YouTube, but um, I've seen 10 hour videos, so I know it's possible. It's just going to take a long time.
a very, very long time. Because I've got to do a lot. And I'm only beginning with this video, and it's already been like what? We've got 35 minutes now. Why did I just grab the, the thing right over there? <laughs> the world may never know. Going ahead. Okay. <laughs> Dude, they can see you. <laughs> You're just over there on your laptop the whole time. The whole time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incidentally, it's running out of I heard, I heard that. battery juice. <laughs> well, wait, I, sne I sneezed into your cover over there because I didn't want to blow your cover. Really? Oh my god, yeah. no. That's going to be in the background. Oh! Because I was trying to muffle it. <laughs> oh, well. Not once, but twice. I was like, oh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Anyway, sorry for that slight interruption. My computer will be a bit slow with After Effects since I am screen recording. Hey, have you got a better idea on doing this? No. Okay. Anyway. This is what I do when I board. I mean, you want me to. Well, excuse me. Sorry. Come on now. You like my beat? It's a sick beat, I know. A massive sing on barrage. Okay, my computer is being a bit slow right now. I am sorry. Um Hey, does anybody ever watch my uh, our behind the scenes videos? I don't think anybody's really that interested in and I'm probably really boring and you probably don't want to see me do this crap so um I guess when we become famous and popular wait famous and popular those are the same thing when we become popular um I guess there'll be a bunch of film creators wanting to know how to do our sick sweet effects and they'll just look at these videos um, they'll be like, these guys are awesome. It took them like two hours just to make like a a, a, a thirty second video. They really spend their time. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, I was uh, uh, back in the moment. Anyway, okay. Uh, say actually, yeah, I can work zoomed out now. Um, so. You want to see my new screensaver on my iPod? You probably can't see my um my webcam on my computer doesn't focus on those kind of things. Um, so yeah. Did I just zoom in again? The crap is wrong with me. I've really got a lot to work. Uh, a lot of work to do so yeah I think this is gonna be the longest behind the scenes episode so far like 2013 probably longest behind the scenes um 
But this will probably be the second longest it took to edit. You know the longest video that took me to edit? I know it kind of sucks, but you know the red or blue video on Melon Production? That took forever because I had to do the lightning effects, the explosion behind my back. I know the masking sucked, but it was still pretty cool. And I should have used a green screen, but oh well. Um, speaking of green screen, uh, do you guys um, have um, any uh, quality green screens? Because, um, uh, well, um. Uh, I just lost my thought. Anyway, green about green screens. All right, all right, all right. Um, do you have any suggestions for a quality green screen? Because I cannot. Um. Uh, I have a, a green sheet, which is supposed to be a green screen. All right, and. Um. It doesn't exactly work that well. Uh, let's just put it that way. Um, so, if there's like a link on Amazon to a quality green screen, uh, um, uh, message me the link at uh, our email. Uh, don't send us spam on our email, but our email is cadentech8 at gmail.com. Um, that is cadentech8 at gmail.com. Um, so, yeah, I look forward to your messages, I guess. Um, and I'm not even going to tell you my phone number because that's way too far, and I'm, that's creepy. So, yeah, I, I guess I went far enough. Email. Anyway, let's finish up these effects. Um, holy crap, this is taking longer than expected. So much for two hours. Trash that, it's going to be like, Three hours now with this bonus. Um, yeah. It needs to be like in the center of my hand. In the center of my hand. In the center. In the center. In the center of my hand. In the center of my hand. In the center of my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the center of his hand. In the center. In the center, in the center of his hand, the Russian gun needs to be in the center, in the center of the screen. It needs to be in the center of the screen. The Russian gun needs to be in the center of the screen. Actually, did I say scream? In the center of a palm. In the center of a pond. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hey, I'm wondering. Uh, I'm basically gonna. It's a thing on Barrage, so it's basically the same thing. Maybe this sh video, video should be just on um, the left side. And that's whenever it's like the explosion, where I'm like, <sighs> yeah, when I uh, release my hands. So, at that frame, it's going to go away. That's actually pretty good. It almost looks like it's motion motion tracked. I will go ahead and land there. Sorry. Sorry for my accents. I, I kind of like doing them sometimes. They're kind of, you know, fun. Let's end that exact, that exact point. The exact point. The exact point. All right, let's look how the um, key framing has been going. All right. So, I'm just going to take a quick look at this, see how it looks. Just, just see how it looks. Okay. 
and it's going to be pretty slow or pretty fast in a real time um, so you really won't notice anything and yes I will add the motion blur okay here's what I'm going to do when it goes behind my back we're going to start uh, the keyframing for the scale and it's going to gradually go up and whenever I put my hand to the camera that's going to be the maximum scale of the Rasengan. If you feel me. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Do you feel me? I'm pretty sure you get the point, right? Alright, so right when it gets real close, to the, when my hand gets real close to the camera gonna be the maximum uh, scale like I like I said all right. All right so that's about it okay so we're gonna scale this up uh, a good amount because it's massive we're saying on barrage they got to be massive not just giant massive I said not giant, I said massive. Maybe I overdid it a bit. Not that massive. Um, let's go for like... S yeah, that's perfect. And move it over just a bit. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Right there. Knock, knock, knock. Is anybody home? Knock, 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 knock. I'm sorry if I'm being annoying. All right, we're we're loading here. All right, making progress. Get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. That's weird. Can I like move it over, please? Pretty please. Oh, did I just cover the camera? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Move it over. Do you understand English? That was actually uh, Espanol. I'm learning Spanish. I know a few Spanish words. Actually, no good amount of Japanese wor uh, words from watching Naruto. Uh, so, yeah. And, um, never mind. Uh, can anyone tell me why that won't move over? It's probably just because my computer is being a little slow. I just want to move it slightly, just a little. Oh well, I guess it's fine. Alright. Let's be with shall we? What did I do? Holy crap. Um, the scale was supposed to start here. Hey, you know what? That's actually not too big. Like, you know, from far away, it's really, really big. From real close up like that, that's supposed to be gigantic.
And now I can move it. Huh. I think the little After Effects mess up is actually going to come to my advantage. Me like it. Okay. But, um. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, actually, I like that. That hides. It hides. Um. The, the, uh. Bad feathering and the bad masking. So, actually. It came to my advantage that it didn't exactly work out from small to big. So, ha! Oh yeah, we can go ahead and turn that back on. Wait, that was the null. Turn on the smoke. Smoke. How does it look? <laughs> I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Okay. Actually, like I said, that did come to my advantage. And uh, I need to add the smoke puff for when the clone goes away. It's just easy. It's like a copy and paste thing. No big deal. Hold on. I need to find uh, the point when the clone is gonna, you know, disappear. So right about here, am I right? Wait, no, I, it's, it's right here, actually. So as soon as I form the hand sign, which is right here, all you have to do is copy and paste that, or duplicate that layer, and then put it over on that point, and it's like the same thing, so. I actually really like the size of that Rasengan. It's impressive, it is. Sorry. Nice, I like all that smoke. Gives it a realistic taste. Um, okay, so motion blur right All right motion blur we're gonna add a bit uh i actually oh wow it's not even effect i know how to add motion blur what am i stupid duh it's a standard for after effects right here okay and go ahead and um turn it on for viewing how does it look in motion blur actually though that's what i need to find out it should look pretty good. So as it as it's um, moving, you know, it should look like it's kind of blurry, like my hand when it, my hand goes real fast. It's kind of looks like a, a blob in frame by frame. Uh, and we'll see how the Rasengan looks. Oh wow! You see, it it doesn't um show the spirally as much, but actually you need that. And since there's all that smoke. You can hardly tell that it's behind my back, so actually, I don't believe it is necessary to add the uh, masking. I know some of you might think, he's lazy, he's lazy, he's lazy, but, you know, 
Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Like, it's actually part of the scene. Wow. That's, like, perfect. Okay, and then when it gets more steady over here. It's, like, a normal for a Sangad. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I missed it. Should have ordered me. All right. Then again, he gets blasted back and everything. Okay. Now, that's for the left side. It, it's not really necessary because I basically do the same things. So, um, basically, that's what I'm going to do for um, the uh, right side. So, uh, this is actually almost an hour. And um, I'm going to go. So, see you next time. Uh,